Hello, welcome to CoffeeJS class. Please, if you are new to this channel or new in this class, please subscribe and be part of this class. And for my subscribers and those who have been watching my videos, thank you very much for always coming along. In today's lesson, we are going to develop a truncated hexagonal prism. A truncated hexagonal prism. So we have this, we have a figure here. Now we have this uh this and uh, a truncated hexagonal prism you can see so this is what we are going to develop today we are going to draw the plan the front view or the front elevation and the development of the surface so this is what we are going to do today so we start by drawing our hexagon so we have this to be the front the front view the distance from here to here is 50 millimeters and the height from here to here 70 millimeters and from here to here is 4.5 um, centimeters that is 45 millimeters so we are going to draw the hexagon so now we first draw a straight line like this it says the distance from here to this side is 50 so we are going to use um, we're going to draw a circle so we take half of it that, that is uh, 25 millimeters we choose a point from here the 25 millimeters you just draw an arc like this and at this point You draw another arc to get the center then with the same radius the radius at this point you draw a circle you draw a circle then with the same radius at this point you draw an arc like this then here then here then your c square then you draw the side of the hexagon from here you draw a line to here and from here you draw another line from here you draw a line then from here you draw another line and from here The last, which is this one, let's join this. So we have this. Good. Then, so we have this to be the plan. So after drawing this, then with your C square, with your C square, from here, from this point, you draw a faint line to this side. And from here, here, and let's number this. We have here to be one, we have two, three, four, five, and six. When well, you draw lines, you know, point two and point six. Yeah, on the same line so you just draw a faint line like this up here then we have line two and a three and five you draw another faint line like this then we are going to draw the front view so from at this point you draw you move your says your t square you move your t square up 
to this end and you draw another faint line from here to this side so we have this now when you look at this figure here it says the distance from here to here is 70 millimeters which is uh, seven centimeters so you measure your seven centimeters to this side with your compass or your divider so from here mark your seven or 70 millimeters to here good and it says the distance from here to this side is also 45 millimeters then you measure your 45 millimeters with your compass or your divider so here you mark your 45 here good then with your t square and your c square at this point you draw the line from here to here then this from here to here and with your t square to here then you join here from here to here good then with your set square and your t square is from here So now we have the front elevation or the front view here. Now to get the development of the surface, you move your T-square up here. You extend this red line from here, from here, then from here. Then from here, then the last from here. Good. We have this. We are going to draw the development of the surface. So now, with your T square and your C square, you draw a line. From here good then with your compass or your divider you measure one side of the hexagon one side of the hexagon which is this then you mark one you have Two, we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six. So you number it. So we have one here, we have two, we have three, we have four, five, six and one so here you draw lines from here like this goes up and from here goes like this the 
last you have this now when you look at this we look at the plan here we know this lie is like one and this lie this lie is like two and six so the lie one goes like this this is two and six and this is three and five then we have this to be like four so we are going to finish our uh, our the, the development of the surface so we first start from here you move from here along this line we have this is line one so line one one is here you mark a point here one we have another one another one here And this lie is two and six. So you move along this. We have two here. And we have six here. And this is three and five. So we move around this. We have three. Three here. And we have five. And the last, this lie is like four. So you move along and have the point here, which is four. Good. So with your set square, your set square, so from here, you draw a lie from here to here, then to here. Then to here, then from here to here, then to here, then to here. Good. Then with your T square and your C square, you draw these lines. the last good then with your T square you move your T square to this side and uh, and draw this good So now we have the plan, the plan, the front view or the front elevation and the development of the surface. So you first draw your hexagon, then you extend these lines up here and you draw this line. Then you get a distance from here to here. You have the distance from here to here. Then you extend all these lines to this side and we know this is like one. So you look along line one you mark one one then you move here six and, and two you mark it's very simple it's very simple it's the same method we use to develop um a cylinder a truncated cylinder and truncated um cone in the same method it's very simple and uh, i hope you can draw this now let's open this truncated hexagonal uh, prism and see if we are going to get similar thing like this here. So 
So with our scissors, yeah, see, so we have this line. We have one, one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and and one. So if you want to form the uh, truncated hexagonal prism, when you join it here, and uh, you look at the base, you see the hexagon, and it goes like this. So when you open it, this is what you get is similar, the same as this one. It's very simple. You draw the plan, the front view or the front elevation, and the development of the surface. Thank you very much for coming along please if you are new to this channel please subscribe and be part of this class and those who have been watching my videos thank you very much for always coming along thank you thank you very much let's keep on drawing and keep the world moving without drawing there will be nothing on this planet it thank you very much i will see you in my next video thank you bye